Have you been thinking about buying the Shark AI robot vacuum from Costco? In this video, I'm gonna review it and you are gonna find out whether it's worth buying. Right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you there's three things that I love about this vacuum, but there's one big flaw that I think might be a deal breaker for you. This review is gonna focus on three questions. How well does it clean? How convenient is it? And is this vacuum right for you? So for a lot of people, including me, I wanted to make my life easier by not even having to think about daily vacuuming but I never wanted a traditional robo vacuum because I was so lazy to the point that I didn't even want to clean out the vacuum itself. Once robo vacuums started having technology where they could clean themselves, I knew I had to have one. We bought this at Costco on sale for $320. It's originally $400. When you compare this to the iRobot vacuum, it is a much cheaper alternative, but it has similar features. Some of the main features of this vacuum is this self-emptying base, and it can apparently hold up to 30 days of dust and debris. Next is this LiDAR technology, it's this, this little cap that sits on top of the actual vacuum itself, and it's able to detect different obstacles within your house and clean around them. One feature that I like is this brush roll. So the brush roll doesn't have bristles anymore. It's sort of a rubberized sort of brush roll, and that's supposed to help prevent any hair from tangling into that brush roll. It also has a shark app, and so you could actually schedule the vacuum to go clean your house at designated days and times. And it also has no-go zones. So if you wanted to avoid certain places within your house, that's also an option as well. When you set up this vacuum for the first time, it maps out your entire home and creates a digital landscape that you can view on the Shark application. The mapping accuracy is pretty good and it actually helps a lot with the navigation. Which brings me to the first thing that I love about this vacuum is the navigation. I've been really impressed on how this vacuum navigates around my apartment and that's a testament to the LiDAR system which is essentially lasers that detect objects and the distances between them. When I want a specific room to be clean, I choose it on the app and it has no issues navigating to the room and it goes around corners and bumps with ease. It even goes around really tight spaces. Just look at how it navigates at the bottom of my dining table and through this bicycle obstacle that I thought it would get stuck in, I'm really surprised how it cleans in complicated areas. The robot knows exactly where the docking station is at all times. No matter where the vacuum is in my apartment, if I press that dock button, it'll navigate to the dock very accurately with no intervention from me. But there is one caveat about the navigation that I really don't like, and I'll get into that in a little bit. Next thing that I love about this vacuum is the convenience. I can truly set it and forget it. One feature on the app that I love is the scheduled cleaning. I could go into the app, set my scheduled days, and it does the rest itself. I also love on the app how you could designate no-go zones and that there's spot cleaning. So if there's an area that you wanted to clean specifically, you could send the vacuum over there and designate that on your app. Another thing for me is that the vacuum is independent, meaning like it doesn't depend on me to do anything. It doesn't depend on me to go clean. It doesn't depend on me to go back to the dock. It doesn't depend on me to self-clean itself. And it doesn't depend on me if it gets stuck. And so I've had this for two plus months now and it's never gotten stuck. I've never had to actually go to the vacuum and release it. For me, that's such a huge thing that I don't even have to think about the vacuum. My favorite convenience feature of all is the self-emptying bin. It's actually one of the big reasons why I bought this vacuum in the first place. I love that it goes to the dock and just self-empties all the dirt that's in that vacuum. It actually does a great job of removing the actual dirt from the vacuum and putting it into the bin so that next time it deploys, it's ready to clean again. Here's a video on how it self-empties. Once it docks itself, the dock itself vacuums out all the dirt and debris from the vacuum. It could hold up to one month of dirt and debris, which in theory means you only have to clean out the bin 12 times a year. I love that it's bagless too, so you don't have to buy any extra bags or anything like that. Just remove the dirt from the bin and then put the bin back in the dock and you're good to go. Another thing that I love about this vacuum, and it's probably one of the more important things when you buy a robot vacuum, is the cleaning. I live with my wife and my dog, so on a daily basis, there's hair, dirt, dust, food particles. Did I mention hair? There's a lot of hair here. And between me and you, it's not not from my wife. 
For me, it has to pass the eye test and the foot test, meaning I don't visibly want to see any dirt on the floor. And when I walk around the home, I don't want to feel any dirt on the floor, especially when walking around barefoot. Well, this vacuum does a great job cleaning up the dirt on the floor. I like how it vacuums in a matrix so it hits every square foot of your home without leaving any unvacuumed areas. So I tested on the carpet. It does a good job on thinner area rugs, but when you get into like the thicker, shaggier rugs, it does sort of a surface level cleaning where it cleans a little bit of the dirt and the dust and the hair, but it doesn't truly do a deep clean like let's say a Dyson would. Uh, typically, if I wanted a deep clean, I would break out the Dyson. The brush roll technology is definitely not perfect. They claim that hair won't get stuck in the brush roll. We did find some hair stuck into the brush roll. It wasn't as much hair than I thought it would be. And actually, I think it did a pretty decent job. And so I don't think it's a deal breaker. Okay, so check out how much dirt the dustbin collected. This is after 30 days. Look at the dust, the food, the crumbs. The hair is in there for sure. Not only does it pass the eye test, the foot test, but it also passes the actual dirt collected test. Here I want to put it through some various tests of things that you would actually see on your floor on a daily basis. So I put it through the cereal tests, rice, hair, chips, dog food, and dirt. Those to show that the cleaning on this thing is really good. This vacuum is great, but the one thing that I really don't like about it is that it's a little bit too persistent. It doesn't know when to quit sometimes. Here's what I mean by that. Sometimes the bumper or the LiDAR system doesn't recognize when there's a plant stand there or when it hits a piece of furniture that's not as heavy as a sofa, let's say. One example is when the vacuum did its scheduled cleaning. We were out to dinner and when we came back, our Monstera plant was knocked down on the floor. There was dirt everywhere and it actually ate one of the newer leaves on the Monstera plant. It's just small stuff like that that it might be a deal breaker for you. Let's say you just have a lot of plants around or you have a lot of lighter furniture that is easy to topple over. That bumper on the actual vacuum is not sensitive enough to recognize that it needs to go around it or it needs to turn the other way. It'll keep pushing forward, which tells me that the lighter system and the bumper system is not as good as I thought it would be. Let's try this cup of water test and see how it goes. So is this Shark AI robot from Costco right for you? I'll say this, if you have a lot of thicker carpet around in your house and you're looking for it to do a really deep clean, I would pass on this. Or if you had a lot of delicate furniture around you, such as plant stands or little statues and whatnot, and you don't want those to be toppled over or anything like that, I wouldn't get this vacuum either. If your house is mostly hardwood floors and some area rugs here and there, and you're looking for something that's fully automated, set it and forget it, you don't have to think about it, and it actually does a lot of the work and daily cleaning for you, then yes, this vacuum is for you and I suggest you buy this right now. If you live that crazy Costco life, subscribe to our channel for more Costco videos, like this video and watch our next video right over here.